a lot of websites out there have this little bubble, this live chat. And how they do this, a lot of times they'll use like a third party service. They'll pay like a monthly fee to do it. But in this one, I wanted to show you how to set up your own live chat so you can easily, you know, let's say you wanted to play, deploy an entire team of people to answer it in real time, you can, or you can set it to just collect a whole bunch of messages like I've done on my website. Uh, or you can just use it as a sales funnel for like, let's say you're selling a product. You can, you can do that as well. But all this is free, which is kind of insane that we're to the world where we can just do this. Now, this method will be using 3CX. I've done past videos of one self-hosting for free, or you can use their cloud service as well. <laughs> Either way, I'll, I'll leave links to the actual setup of that if you're interested. But I actually wanted to add live chat onto my website, as you see here, and kind of go over it. 3CX has a quick setup manual just to show you how simple this is. You just basically log into your system, tick this box, voice and chat, save and go. And then you could easily deploy it through WordPress. Most people know I'm not a huge fan of WordPress, but they have a simple plugin to add. Now me personally, since I don't use WordPress, I use just a regular static site. I wanted to add it to that. So I use just the HTML code way, which I'll show today. But either one of these is great. They have plugins for, for all of these things, whether you're using Squarespace, Wix, uh, Joomla, whatever it is, I actually use Hugo with cloud uh flare as my host so a whole different setup that's not even on their site and it works perfectly and it's only a couple lines of code so very easy to set up so let's get into it let's first log into our free cx chat and you can see from the admin panel you just come into voice and chat and you would just come into here and go add live chat you can say do you want the chat icon only you want a full chat box like this do you want it to be limited to a certain group. You specify your website here. So mine's christitus.com. Uh, you say, what do you want to capture? Do you want to capture your name and email address? You want to just capture the name. If it's only live chat, that's fine. I like to do name and email address since I'm not going to be answering it in real time. That way I could email these people back. If I get like a really good question through my website, I could email them back and say, oh, here's this to fix that. And uh, that would remedy any problem they have or you could just say nothing just you can chat with the world i wouldn't recommend doing a none uh, i would at least do either name or email or both personally I, I like both and then you can say what do you want this to be do you want to pick up a phone and answer it or do you want it just to be a chat so obviously uh, i use just chat because i can't be sitting here picking up the phone every five minutes especially if i'm recording a video like this one so chat only is what i do and then i can stylize it with all these different things now you can do slide ups i i don't prefer an animation but if you're doing this as like a sales funnel you probably want to draw attention to the chat bubble so you might actually do like a slide up or from the side uh to to give like a little bit of animation to this this little bubble here the messages themselves you can you can customize this and then specify like a default photo and the agent's name that would be taking the chat if you want, or it could be just a generic one. Just let's say it's your business. Uh, you can do that as well. And then obviously we have privacy controls. Obviously for Europe, you're going to want to put a GDPR uh, notice for that to say, hey, you can, you're accepting some uh, private cookies to make this possible. So let's go over to my live chat. This is how I have it set up on my website. You can see it's directed to my 100 extension right here in the studio. So if uh, it did get elevated into a phone call, it would ring my phone right back here. Uh, styling, I didn't do any animation. I really don't want to draw too much attention to it. People on the website might notice it and click on it, which I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Uh, the messages, uh, I didn't like the default message for the chat box intro. So I was like, hey, what seems to be troubling you today? I kind of just wanted to use this as a way to just people that visit ChrisDitis.com getting their, their opinions. Hey, what, do you, what, what problems are you running into uh, that I may or may not be able to help with, but at least it give me a better understanding of the audience that visits the website and why they get go there and maybe something that they didn't see or, or some kind of feedback they wanted to give, they can, they can give it to me. And then for the agent name, I just put my... Uh, default uh, photo right here, uploaded it, and then named it myself. And that's it. Um, I didn't put any GPDRs because honestly, I'll probably uh, remove this 
after a period of time, depending, I might leave it because I kind of like as things started to float in, people can uh, kind of give me a say, hey, wh what's going on with this? I'm trying to do this specifically for Valorant gameplay. What's your recommended for the extreme deep bloat? And for Valorant gameplay, it probably wouldn't be anything. Um, and I could email that person back by just coming into here, clicking the dots, get some more information about them. I'll, I'm going to obviously blur all that out, but it shows his email and his IP address right there. So I could uh, contact that person back via email, which is really cool. It's a really neat way to interact with any of your clients, customers, uh, or, or just uh, audience in, in my case. But how did I add this to the site? If we come back to just voice and chat, you can just click this I and then just copy the HTML code. Now, looking at this chat, you'll you'll see that there's a lot of uh, comments here. But really, I could actually break this down. This is everything, including a, a image operator icon. It, it broke it out into this code, uh, base64 code. But really, there's only two lines that need to be added. This is all the settings, but I prefer to just pull that directly from my box. So really, what you're looking at here is just these two lines, the call us uh, selector and then the script to utilize the call us selector. This will go ahead, add everything for your site. And this just needs to go between your body tags. So if you look at the base of, it goes between the opening and closing body tag. I like to put it towards the closing uh, body tag right down here with like some other code copies and some Google ad stuff uh, right here, right before my footer comes in. So that's how I structure it on just a base site. But if you don't want to deal with code and you have like square fit space or Wix, there's easy ways to add this and it being just two, two lines of code makes it very very simple to add just know that when you do the global paste uh, a lot of times it will be a lot uh, a lot more stuff but this is all comments and they just add that to where if you don't want to pull the settings directly from your box you could uh, manually put them in here just know that if you do change the setting you'd have to come back in and change your code if you use this method as well so to show a full demo of this now that you understand all the pieces back in our admin console uh, in the 3CX web client, I set this to be phone and chat, give us a, a call button, and then also do a good animation. So we're going to push this to the forefront on ChrisTitus.com just so it would just pop up and really alert new visitors. Uh, so with that, we'll go there. We'll be ready to receive our chat session in the web client. So let's pull up ChrisTitus.com and you should see the animation right in this corner. See it kind of slide up. We click on it, put our uh, username and email in. We're going to be Jim Bob, country boy at gmail.com. How can I help you? I'm going to be like, hey, I need a human and it's going to put it in a queue. And that queue is going to be right here. We can reply immediately through the, the, the web client. We can be like here or we can just chat back and forth. Just say whatever it is. It'll ding and alert them. I'm like, okay, great. Well, I'm gonna just call. Now this is gonna use your microphone on your computer and just WebRTC and directly call me on my phone right over here. So let's go ahead and make the call. You see it? Yeah, allow to use my microphone. And right here on my phone, Jim Bob's calling me. It just says Jim Bob. Hey Jim. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to hang that up just so we don't have some really bad echo, but I at least wanted to demonstrate that. So once you're done and you've dealt with the call, issues resolved, or let's say, hey, it needs to be elevated to another supervisor, you can transfer that call and shift it over to another phone. I have another computer room that I can transfer that to. Or if it's a completed call and you're ready to drop it from the queue, you can just say it's been dealt with. It drops out of the queue. It notifies the person. The session is over on the website and you're good. So this is 3CX, amazing live chat service. Thanks 3CX for sponsoring this video. And let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.